basics i'm lisa pallavi barbara and you're watching episode 2 in this episode we are talking to you about uh, which mutual fund scheme is the best for you i'm not telling you the name of the mutual fund scheme to invest in that is the easy part and comes much later before that you have to understand a lot many more things about mutual funds so that you are able to pick the most relevant scheme for your purpose episode 1 mein humne kaha tha ki mutual fund investing is for long term financial planning लेकिन ये लॉन्ग टर्म फाइनेंशियल प्लानिंग कैसे करें राइट सो द स्टेप दैट यू नीड इज द वेरी बेसिक स्टेप ऑफ डिफाइनिंग द पर्पस ऑफ योर इन्वेस्टमेंट आप इन्वेस्ट क्यों कर रहे हैं अफकोर्स टू क्रिएट वेल्थ एंड यू वॉन्ट रिटर्न ऑल्सो बट यू मस्ट डिफाइन द स्पेसिफिक पर्पस ऑफ योर इन्वेस्टमेंट नाउ लेट से यू वॉन्ट टू गो इन हॉलीडे आफ्टर अ ईयर ओके वी आर इन अ पैंडमिक सो नॉट इन अयर मे बी इन टू ईयर्स राइट um and of course there is the need to build your retirement kitty if you are a 20 something year old or a 30 something year old retirement is 30 35 years away whereas your holiday is 2 years away so the investment you make for both these purposes are going to be very different right now coming back to mutual funds broadly there are two categories of mutual fund schemes there is debt funds and there is equity funds Uh, there are other types as well but broadly these two are the ones that you need for 90% of your investment requirements uh, debt funds invest in bonds and money market securities which pay them an interest after some time the bond is uh, repaid by the issuing company uh, the fund gets the principal back as well and uh, that's how they generate income to pay the unit holders of debt funds right now for all your short term investment requirements and your investment requirements where capital safety is of a high priority debt funds are very suitable very short term needs can be taken care of by liquid ultra short and overnight funds these funds invest in very short term money market and debt securities and they will be able to meet your needs say 6 months later where you know you are uh, wanting to pay a down payment on your house or your car loan or uh, whatever else you need the money for or if it is like i said something that you need to invest where the safety of capital is of high priority then you pick these schemes right liquid fund ultra short term fund overnight fund debt funds publish something called the average maturity of the portfolio and your investment horizon should roughly match this average maturity so if the average maturity of the portfolio is 6 months then you know that for any investment need which is of a 6 month tenure for you that portfolio will be suitable suitable also for your 1 to 3 year needs there are short term income funds which are also debt funds they have a slightly different risk return profile risk is slightly higher so daily volatility of the nav we spoke about nav in the first episode so daily volatility of nav is slightly higher Uh, however uh, return is also slightly higher and if you remain invested for a 2 to 3 year period all that smoothens out and you do uh, get a steady income from short term income funds again you must match your average maturity in debt funds be very careful about the portfolio of the scheme as well the quality of the portfolio is paramount unless you invest in a good quality portfolio you can lose a lot of money in debt funds as well then coming to equity funds for any investment need which is say 5 years plus equity funds are your best choice um equity helps you earn inflation plus returns in the long run inflation kya hota hai basically uh, prices rise every year whatever you're buying um you know whether it's food or housing or clothes over a period of time prices only go up that is inflation so if you're investing for the long term you really need to invest in a type of product where the return is at least more than inflation right otherwise the value of your money is actually going to fall not increase and that is what equity will help you do in the long run equity helps you earn inflation plus returns and that is why it is very critical for your long term portfolio any investment requirement which is 5 years plus does need a little bit of equity in it however the longer the period that you remain invested in equity the better it is the more smooth your return outcome will be and the less volatile it will be at least 7 to 10 years to have a smooth equity return outcome the longer the better if you can leave it in for 15 years nothing like it 20 saal chhod dijiye equity mein and you will see the return outcome is going to be really really favorable so start your retirement planning now and started with equity mutual funds 
So there you have it, the thumb rules. Anything which is short term and requires safety of capital, debt mutual funds. Long term and where you need to grow and build your wealth, equity mutual funds. Of course, there is a lot more to know about exactly which scheme to go for. But this is a long journey and you'll have to stay with me through the MF Basics episodes to reach that point where you know exactly which scheme is right for you. Thank you for watching. I'm Lisa. Do stay tuned to MF Basics for all your mutual fund questions.